just by taking a simple pill? It's real, and it may soon be possible for humans. Doctors finding a compound in red wine that could slow the aging process. So how does it work? Joining us now, Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashen. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Megan. All right, so we knew that red wine was good for us. They told us that many times, good for your heart, etc. But, but it can slow the aging process. It can add years to your life. Right, so this is, this is potentially really exciting if you think about it. I mean, some people might not want to extend their life by 20 years into old age, but most people probably would. And what this has to do with is the so-called French paradox, which is the theory or the question that scientists have been looking at now for almost 20 years as to why French people who consume relatively high amounts of red wine and a diet that's high in fat have a lower incidence of heart disease than, say, we do in this country. And they found that the miracle compound is something called resveratrol, which is found in grapes, the skins of grapes, actually, and in found in high quantities in red wine. And now, of course, it's only a matter of time until scientists have, have been able to put that into pill form. They've already studied it in animals, so it's only a matter of time until well, it comes to us. And that's the deal. So, they, so inspired by that French paradox, these doctors got together and started studying uh, to see, well, eventually they started studying resveratrol. And they found that this compound in red wine is so healthy for you that it literally can expand, expand your lifespan 20 years or more, and not just any 20 years, but healthy years. There, it postpones disease. That's right. However, you got, if, you were do, if you were just to drink red wine and forget the pill, you'd have to drink a thousand bottles a day? Right, and let's be clear, we're not recommending that, obviously. That does not expand your lifespan. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, but, of course, they're going to put it in much more concentrated form when they, when they are able to put it in a pill for human consumption. But they found that the compound in the pill actually activates a gene that is then responsible for slowing the aging process. And it, it's doing everything from preventing diseases to fighting types of infections that are implicated in aging and the diseases that come with aging. So again, they've already studied it in yeast, then they moved on to mice, and uh, soon it'll go into clinical trials and we might be able to actually purchase this for our use. Right, so it's not like they're just giving you an extra 20, 30 years. It's that they're, they're actually managing to keep you chronologically younger, physically younger right. for, for a longer period of time because your body, when it hits 80, will be more like that of a 60-year-old in terms of disease, correct? Correct. And the other thing that I think we have to keep in mind is that whenever they isolate one particular gene or one particular compound that's linked to a very broad spectrum of disease or clinical manifestations, we say, we really have to take it with a grain of salt because obviously there are other factors that come into play, like our genetic or family history that are incredibly important when you talk about how we are all going to age. So this is one piece of the puzzle. It's still a long ways off, but you better believe the pharmaceutical companies are looking at how soon they can get it into pill form. Because, this would be huge. This yeah. really would be fountain of youth in a pill, wouldn't it? One, as I said, one piece of the puzzle, but a very, very important one. It's, it's really incredible that it's working on the mice. Yeah. Uh, and they're saying that right now the only thing that exists that's anything like it is, are these extreme calorie restriction diets that people, some people go on to that's try right. to prolong their lifespans. That works as well. But Absolutely. It, if you want to eat... Uh, go ahead and do that and wait for the pill. Well, remember, <laughs> I always say if something sounds too good to be true, sometimes it can be. And the other interesting thing we can't forget is that, you know, the French are kind of known for their joie de vivre or love of living. And, you know, part of what you enjoy when you sip a glass of red wine with your friends is the whole social interaction. So we don't want to lose track of that. We want to keep our minds and our social lives as healthy as our cells inside our body. Good call. Plus, if we can get four months of vacation a year like they have, I'm sure we're going to be really happy. Can't hurt. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you. Thank you so much.